Welcome to Excel Steady Steady. There may be occasion when you need to know the position of a character or the position of a word in a sentence. Take for example, on the screen, you see the sentence, too hot to handle, and you would like to know the position of H in the sentence. There are two functions in Excel you can use to return the position of a character, a word, in a sentence. One of the function is called the find function and the other is called the search function. So for today, I will first walk you through how to use the find and search function. And at the later part of the video, I will show you what are the key differences between the two. So without further ado, let us key in equal find open bracket. The first argument of the find function that we need to input is the character that we want to find. Let's say we want to know the position of H, we can key in open inverted comma, H, and then close inverted comma, and comma. For the second argument that we have to input will be the text or sentence we would like to find from. In our case, let's reference it to cell B2. Close off the bracket and hit enter. The result shows position 5. Let's test check if it is the correct position of H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's correct. Now, we will see how we can use the search function to search for the position of H. Let's key in equal then search. Open bracket. The first argument will be the same as find function, which is the character we intend to search in the text string. So key in open inverted comma, H, close inverted comma, comma. The second argument is the text string we want to search from. So let's reference cell B2. Close off the bracket, hit enter. So you can see, both search and find function return the same result. Sometimes, we would like to reference data in a cell rather than hard code the character in the function. I'll show you how we can do this. Let's key in equal then find open bracket. For this time round, instead of keying in H directly for the first argument, we'll reference it to cell C4, comma. For the second argument, as before, we'll reference cell B2. Close off bracket, hit enter. And we get the result as per before. So now, let's see if the search function gives the same result. Let's key in equal, search. Open bracket. First argument, just like the find function, will reference to cell C4. Comma. For the second argument, we'll reference to cell B2. Close bracket, hit enter. And yes, we still get the same result as the find function. For the next example, I will show you how we can find a word instead of a single character. Now, let's find the position of the word handle from the text string. Let's first key in equal, then find. Open bracket. This time round, we'll reference first argument to cell C6, which contain the word handle. Comma. For the second argument, same as before, cell B2. Close bracket and then hit enter. And we get the position of the word handle at 12th position. So now, let's see if can get the same result using search function. Key in equal, then search. Open bracket. First argument, reference to C6, comma. Second argument, will reference B2. Close off bracket, hit enter. And yes, we still get 12 as the find function. Now, you may ask, what if we wants to find the position of the second H instead of the first? I'll now show you how this can be done by inputting the third argument, which we have yet to touch on. Key in equal, then find. Open bracket. First argument, will key in cell C9. Comma. For the second argument, will reference to cell B2. And for this time round, we will key in the third argument. The third argument will instruct the function which position to start searching for the character in the text string. 
Since the first age is at position 5, we will instruct the function to start searching at position 6. Close off bracket, hit enter. Second age starts at position 12, same as the word handle. Now, let's see if search function also give the same result. Key in equal, search. Open bracket. For first argument, let's key in cell, C9. Comma. Second argument, we'll key in cell B, 2. And for the third argument, we'll key in 6. Close off the bracket and hit enter. And again, we have got the same result both for the find and search function. Up to this stage, you may be wondering, since both find and search function gives us the same results, why is there a need for two functions that perform the same way in Excel? Well, I shall cover their key differences now. For the find function, it is case sensitive. This would mean if we were to find a small letter H in the text string in cell B2, that contain only uppercase letters, the function will not return any value. I will now show you what I mean. Let's use the find function to search this small letter H in the text string. I shall now key in the find function and all its argument. And as you can see, it returned hashtag value. This means that the function did not manage to find anything in the text string. Okay, and now let us move on to search function. Again, let me key in search and all of its argument. Close off the bracket and hit enter. The search function returned 5, the position of the first H in the text string. So this is one of the differences, find function is case sensitive, whereas search function does not care about the letter case. The other differences is, find function accept wildcard character, whereas search function doesn't. Wildcard characters are symbol that are used to represent another character, or a series of characters. Say, if we would like to find the word handle but we do not wish to key in every letter in the word handle. We can use asterisk wildcard character to represent some of the letters. So, for our case, we can find H A asterisk. Let's first key in the find function and all its argument. So as you can see, it returned hashtag value just like before. This means it does not take in wildcard character, such as the asterisk. Now, let's see if the search function accept the asterisk wildcard character. It correctly returned 12, the position of the word handle resides at. So we can conclude that find function does not accept wildcard character, whereas search function do accept wildcard character. We have now come to the end of this video. We have cover on how to use the find and search function and also their key differences. I hope you have learned something from this video and if this benefit you in one way or another, do help me smash the subscribe and like button. If you wants to know how to combine the find and left function to extract partial text from text string. Do check out the video on the bottom right of the screen. See ya in next video.